Hello everyone and welcome back to Vampires of the Undergrowth. Which Yeah, we're making decent progress. We are almost technically done with what's available. Because you know, no fire ants yet. From those we've run out of territory points and royal charity and almost mo pretty much our food too. Which is unfortunate. And we still only get wood ants uphill. So yeah, that means we need to move on to the next mission. Well, in those, we might have to do some stuff over again on challenges. Which, the front line is actually pretty easy, by the way. When an ant army is on the march, everything is on the menu. Basically, all you really need to do for this one is get majors and then cut off the enemies of ants. Pretty much just survive until we get majors. Speaking of that, we already start with. This small leafcutter colony has established a foothold in a clearing near the base of a tree. Their location provides prime access to lucrative harvesting grounds which have gone unchallenged for the past few weeks. However, unbeknownst to the ants, the peace is about to be broken. A scourge is drawing in. It will be here by morning. So well, let's see, how bold do I want to be? Bold enough to already start work on building one of these? Why yes, yes I do. Wanna be that bold. Yeah. I pose, uh, shit, I can't remember which one's which. Oh crap. Uh, I think these are regular workers. These are the soldier ones, I th think. Okay, and Major. Major, basically, all he needs to do is come out here and deal with things at night. He gets to go be protective guard. For now. For now. Also, look at that big ass thing just sitting in there. Yeah, I don't like it either. By the way, if you're very aggressive and you get enough of these things built, you can literally just win right off the bat if you can press forward here. It's a very bold stance to take, though. The ants must defend themselves. But must they? But must they? Oh, hi. Yours? 
thing. Konami my words. I don't like it. The whip survival is most deadly at medium range. And we're trying to keep enemies there by repositioning. The ants have uncovered a heterophrenous Battersea whip spider hiding beneath the leaf litter. Sure. This unnerving arachnid feels its way through the undergrowth with modified antenna like forelegs. When it finds a target, it snatches forward with enormous pedipalps, impaling its victim on deadly Pedipalp spines. The problem though is it's spanning these things versus a Jeopardy with those stuff. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's. Oh well, now they're kind of going to upgrade these with bonuses anyway. Dumb you ants have arrived. The bar top shows how close they are to get to your nest. Predators are loose in the nest. Look the larvae up. must be protected. I always feel like I'm going to have to call you guys back to defend this area. These rove beetle larvae pose a serious threat to the minim workers. They will need to be exterminated uh, quickly. Yeah, they're being, they're being too much of a threat. But my units aren't dealing with them fast enough, so I'm going to call you guys back to deal with this. If the army ants can be pushed back beyond leafcutter territory, they will likely give this area a wide berth until it's time for them to relocate oh, their yeah, nest. Yeah. If you had enough, you could technically position your major hill and potentially hold bay. But that's a very hard hold. I bet you want your majors protecting them while they gather. For now. At least until you get more majors up. No, that gives us no Occasionally, majors. scouts will head out from the swarm frontier in search of live prey for the horde. If they find anything of significance, they will call for reinforcements. A battalion of soldiers can respond in seconds. The ants have uncovered a whip spider hiding beneath the leaf litter. It will need to be dealt with before it excavations can continue. Dealt. Okay, it needs to stop murder my things. So I can actually, you know, keep working on my goal here. Thing is, it's coming along pretty nice. They're going to press forward and see. I forget where they start sounding like that. This way. Basically means I might want to head them off. Yeah, here they come. Thinking the swarm frontier is expanding towards the leafcutter nest. We need to push them back. The ants must fight. So we're going to pull, you yeah. know. Those are hard speeders. We're going to pull all of our forces back. At least until we push them back. I know. Dying properly. Until they just 
Sorry, that's not what I'm looking for. That should be snow. collecting leaves. Oh, they are still, still trying to come this way, apparently. Oh, there they go. They've realized that advancing this way is judgmental to their health. Even that was becoming nice. One of the two. them forward back. Well that's where day two comes into play. Cause yeah. As you can see we basically already won. <laughs> We're just stockpiling now, basically. Uh that's problematic. I need more, more refuse piles, basically. That's getting, yeah, up there. Cut. Being judgmental to my production value. Retreat for the night. Day, I should say. As dusk sets in, the army and foraging activity begins to settle. The Aceton forces are reconvening to join a giant bivouac formed of their own bodies where they will wait out the night. For the Atters, this is the perfect opportunity to stockpile leaves. Well, we can also just send with these guys here. To ensure the protection of, well, maybe down here, ensure the protection of my route. The battle has begun. Cause, yeah. I mean, it should be fine, it's just, you know, it would help having additional units to protect it. But yeah, as I said, this mission's actually a lot easier than the first one. All you have to do is know how to actually, to actually deal with things. So, as we kn know the enemy comes from over here, and I start showing up at day, there's like this freaking vein of leaves that just spans here. But then I'm already here for the food. They're just here to you. be imposing. That's all they're here to do is be imposed. Which doesn't really work that well when you know how to actually win. 
Ooh, that thing actually took out one of my things. Impressive. Just sort of waiting for the stockpile. They like being in these areas just because they can, you know, be in the way and threaten my forces. That's all they like to do. Anyway. Um, two. One, two, three, just three more for that. Then I have a decent size force. I mean, yeah. The be best thing you could do on this map is work on getting your majors up as fast as possible. Once you get your majors up, yeah. The rest of the map just depends on how soon you want to end such, to be honest. Just make sure you don't aggravate. Yeah, that's a big one. And it's a giant one of those wood spiders. Something of that sort. Anyway, one, two. One more. Okay, when night ends. Don't really have a timer. And by the way, the small army and workers have been made here capable of small, simple creatures with low health with a strong attack. Yeah, they're also, yeah, army ant majors are large, strong, and powerful. Thing is, they're not as powerful as my leaf cutter ones. The first costly threat, though, attacks boost the damage of nearby army ants, making them much more deadly. The fact they boost the damage of nearby ones makes them a bit more threatening. But the fact that they are not as strong as my majors is, you know. Whatever. I mean, the whole thing about these armor ants is they're just there to be, you know, imposing. They do a good job of that. Anyway, I think it's time we head down here and secure our point. Now, don't aggro this thing. Whatever you do, don't aggro this thing. Everything else is free game. As it immediately leads us towards that thing. You dick. Okay, stop. What are you doing? Don't aggro that. You're gonna have a bad day if you aggro that. So yeah, we're just gonna send them downhill. They're also out of their check. I mean, you know, workers are fine. I mean, we have probably met it. Media. They're fine. That was a bit low on health, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it's starting to get brighter, doesn't it? Fast commands, it's time to send you guys over. So this hill is how you basically win. You get enough majors that you can literally The jungle stirs. Stockpile. The sound of panicked arthropods running from danger can be heard throughout the leaf litter, and the ant birds are circling overhead. The swarm has returned. Big load for comfort guys. Oof. The ants will fight to Ooh, the that. death. Yeah, those guys there are just going to be screwed, those ones coming through there. But yeah, so here's the thing, the army ants are going to show up here, right? They're actually going to show up here too. Bad you can see, because they're already pressed forward that much. 
But as I was showing up here, we can press them back from here. So they only show up here. And that's how we win. Uh, superior numbers. Make sure we have a decent stockpile. Just for reinforcements. Because, yeah, we are going to lose. Uh, fear. Doing such. Oh, jeez, that is a giant prey mantis. Look at that thing. That's a big ass prey mantis. He's just gnawing my own workers. Are we generating help? The leaf cutters are causing problems for the army ants, and the swarm frontier is beginning yeah, to recede. Basically, they decided let's not go here. And let's go here. Well, in other words, I don't think I might not have enough mage results. I can't really tell. So it's like, it looks like we outnumber them still, but I'm not entirely sure. All I know is, oh god, all the majors are still playing the super prey matches. Might not be able to win because, yeah, I, I didn't. I couldn't win because the frickin' prey matches. Oh, that's it. We could have won, by the way, but we ran out of resources. Cause the damn cry mantis screwed me off. <sighs> anyway. Yeah. So yeah, my whole plan. Rested on basically getting enough majors over here so we could basically block this way. The problem though is we could have won, but my backup just decided, you know, there's a giant prey mantis, let's go fight the damn thing instead of, you know, going where I told them to go. Now we don't have any, you know, how we don't even have, yeah. We basically don't have any food coming in, so we need to resupply and bit. Everything's spawning right here, for example. So it's gonna take a while to get back up here. Which hopefully gives us enough time to get our units back alive, because we did lose a lot. If we also lost an old major. Apparently they're going to send scouts to which is bad because it sends in an army to, it sends in a heavier duty squad to deal with us once they are spot us. And yeah, of course, we don't have enough food coming in to replenish our majors yet. Which is bad because I need those back up as soon as possible. The swarm frontier is expanding towards the yeah, leafcutter nest. But I can't really do anything about it yet. Okay, now we got majors back. Time to deploy and deal with them. Deal with this threat. We cut them off here, you know, we'll be fine. And there were some double majors, maybe. Maybe. All I know is, yeah, we just need to hold the line. Tower goes back down. And hopefully build up enough food in the meantime, so we can actually press. The leaf cutters have been spotted by a troop of army and scouts. If any escape, they will call for reinforcements. That can be bad. Not super bad, but it can be bad. They escaped. And here comes the reinforcements. Although, that's not exactly the best group to be dealing with. An enemy scouting party has alerted the swarm to the presence of the leaf cutters. I mean, they should be able to handle them, hopefully. 
while we try to repress them back. Oh shit, the retreat. Pushing eastwards is proving to be inefficient for the swarm. They will fan out in other directions. Yeah, I can't really press them to that right now or something. Because I was about to head off. Huh. I mean, it's still technically day. It makes you wonder what the hell am I supposed to do now? Because I was going to press up. Well, I guess if that's the case, I guess it's time we press forward on them. They're gonna be assholes about it. We just need a lot of these. A lot. So yeah. <laughs> Let's build up a bunch of majors again. Cause, yeah. We could, we should have won last time, but that damn Prime Mantis distracted us from being able to get over there. So this time, this time we'll be ready. And they can play pull it back. I guess it's gonna become night soon. Yeah, let's like it. Which means, hey, this time we'll be ready by morning, hopefully. Just be able to mow a couple more. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, six times 150, yeah. It's gonna be a while. Oh, so we're almost out of food here. Take note of that. So press downhill, you guys. Head down to the vent. As daylight fades, the army ferries the last of the day's spoils back to the bivouac for the evening feast. They will return at first light. Yes, at first light they will return. Oh, so they just come out. Okay, well that could you get screwed. The ants must defend themselves. Must they? Well, it depends. Where was I land my sending my units? I mean, here's a decent place since I've gonna come down from hell. So, yeah, we'll just defend. Until we can get more of these up. One, two, three, four. So, yeah, about to set time to Maybe we can accomplish that by more. Right? Ah, oh, jeez, it's busy here, isn't it? Look at all this. Go deal with some of that shit. Too busy. So many crickets. Grasshoppers and over shit hill. Probably gonna suffer some casualties now, ain't I? Giant ass spider things on no spindly legs. Oh my, we lost. I lost more than I thought I was going to lose though. That's unfortunate. Bit too many casualties. But hey, at least there's only them, my most expensive units. Seventy three hundred more. But hey, we're just making a pile of death now, aren't we? I 
I'm confused in my units. So you think you can run away? You can't run. Oh gee, that not exactly one of those, but that thing is big and I don't like it. I do not like that thing. Look at that thing. That thing's approaching my units. I need to purge that thing. In righteous fire. Thou must be purged in righteous fire. One of the foraging trails has drawn the attention of a whip spider. A the ants must defend spider. themselves. I mean, it's not as big as that one. But still. The threat from the whip spider has been eliminated. The ants were fortunate. This specimen was only a few months old. Only a fully grown months. adult would not have submitted so easily. You mean that thing? What are you? Oh, what are you? Ugh. Well, there was just so many of these damn things. I'm just gonna run. You're in a food. But hey, if we could supply the food line around where we're headed. That would help. Where are you going? Yes. Uh, soon it'll be morning. We have 308. Yeah, but what seconds are coming day now? I don't know if I need you guys to stop and get over there. Because it's that time, everyone. They're taking food back. I don't need you guys taking food back. Uh, Free reign of the harvesting grounds is about to be cut short. The swarm has mobilized. I mean, that was the last of our food. I don't need you guys back over. I need you to get back over here before they start showing up, like, over here. I mean, we have 300 something. Yep, they're gonna start showing up. For some reason we're still doing with that, that I would run away by now. Oh well. Up here they show up. Stop, stop. Where are you going? Oh, hell, going from this direction? Or that mine? Those might be mine, never mind. Uh, what happened to my units? Don't know what happened to my units. Like, why did you guys all perish? Where are my arm? Where's my arm at? Yeah, because everyone's going to start trying. The army ants are extending their foraging activities. Space is running out. Tank that shit. Okay. Now then. The army ants are finding the Atta colony difficult to deal with. Less troublesome prey can be found elsewhere. Now press the advantage behind the wall. Death. I said they're coming back to deal with me too. Mm -hmm. 
The leaf cutters have been spotted by a scout. If it escapes, it will call for reinforcements. And now we are concerned about a scout. I'm concerned we're pressing them out. There we go. Against impossible odds, the soldiers of the Atta stronghold met Should the tyrannical run. intruders with ferocious Stay defiance down. time and time again. Unable to break their lines and after tremendous losses, the army ant swarm has finally elected to move on. For the Leafcutters, the ultimate trial is over. Try that way I want. Food or jelly? Probably jelly. But yeah. Now for the fun part. How is the colony progressing? The Queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. Adapt. I mean, adaptation is key. They're going to go cut this bit out. There we go. Now give me my word in. Now I just need to hope we have enough food to get things upgraded. Because we're not ready for the challenge yet. We're armed. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. Let me go add more points than you. Yeah, you know, just in case, uh, let's give you an ability. Royal Decree? I like Royal Decree. Yeah, it's just, just as a safety precaution. I probably should have got one of those with them. Probably should have. What are you guys got going? I thought I had these things. Oh well. Range. Damage. Attack speed. Damn. Coming along. We're almost up though. Time to start doing this. Oh no, it's time to actually do this. Oh crap, the terrorist down this wall hell. Oh well. I'm not sure I have enough 
food here to upgrade them. Well, upgrade, well, most of these things, will we? I mean, because this here's 150 each. And I still need this third upgrade. These things here are worth upgrading because of that mortar damage. Two. Yeah, I don't know if we have enough food. We might have enough to at least get them up to two. Two, but yeah. After that, I don't think we do. Two more. Yeah. I want to get them upgraded because mortar damage. Area damage from mortars would be ideal. Found those, yeah. That's pretty much all of the food. Not quite sure, we have, yeah, we could have about that much more. Try nine more if I really want to. Which how we could get try another 19 of these, but... Yeah, that's a bit overkill. I mean, I know 19 workers isn't a terrible idea. Especially with how much food we have left, we could probably afford that. I just have to go boop. Go boop boop. And then toss one of those. Oh, yeah. oh there's putting up workers. Yeah, not enough food. Three hundred something left. There. Space things probably. Ah, oh, well. And yeah, I could technically make. I could technically make this better if I really want to. You know, pour on up a couple walls.
Oh, shit, sure, we're completely out of food to upgrade. Well, that's unfortunate. So, here's what sucks, though. We're gonna have to do this one again. On challenge mode, everyone. Yay, challenge mode. Look at most of the vegetation in here. Flies are waiting to lay their eggs. Flies that basically lay eggs that can take control of your units, potentially. Or, well, no, I think it's just they give you a disease that makes you just decay and die. <laughs> Which is also pretty bad. Anyway. This small leafcutter colony has established a foothold in a clearing near the base of a tree. Their location provides prime access to lucrative harvesting grounds which have gone unchallenged for the past few weeks. However, unbeknownst to the ants, the peace is about to be broken. A scourge is drawing in. It will be here by morning. To make matters worse, overground swarms of parasitic forehead flies are beginning to hatch. Leafcutter innards provide perfect incubation chambers for the young of these insidious insects. Fun. I just want you guys to go. Ah, oh shit. Yeah, I go deal with that. You. Go protect. The battle has begun. This whole thing is just to sit there and tet right now. She does a damn good job of doing it. But yeah. Flies. Flies. Okay, anyway. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, so we're working on getting my leaf stores to be not full. It's a process, I'm working on it. If forward flies are pairs of flies in with a mini map, they are the same the more flies, and it can be Seen pairs of plants on the ground in the area. If the ants are nailed by the fly, it would take off and then land on the ants, injecting a larva into them, which would devour infantry, kill the victim. Avoid plants near them. So basically, don't go over here. It's bad, yo. Bad. Like, real bad. I don't think we have enough military might to press forward and take out the enemy right as day one starts. Because that would be. That would be a lot to ask for. I think this here was pretty safe. I think I want to. Pull you guys back inside so I can deal with this shit. Peace, but look. The ants have uncovered a heterophrenous Battersea whip spider hiding beneath the leaf litter. Okay, 
like, you know, that. This unnerving arachnid feels its way through the undergrowth with modified antenna-like forelegs. When it finds a target, it snatches forward with enormous pedipalps, impaling its victim on Ooh, deadly spines. Several meters south of the nest, a legion of nomadic Eseton Berkeley army ants are preparing to march. They set up camp late last night, and will now conduct daily swarming raids on the surrounding areas until they see fit to move on. This humble leafcutter stronghold will soon lie directly in their path. Oh, let's get some of this going. So yeah, we're gonna want to head them off. The army ants have arrived. They will sweep eastward, swarming everything they find. Larvae-filled ant colonies are particularly ripe for culling. Only a substantial defensive force with the right tools to repel the aggressors will be left alone. The leafcutters must prove to the invaders that they are more trouble than they are worth. So yeah, before we advance, we're going to want to do with this ass. The ants have uncovered a whip spider hiding beneath the leaf litter. It will need to be dealt with before excavations can continue. Man, we still got enough leaves now. And leaves here, potentially. Leaf, leaf, leaves. Leaf, 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 leaves. Okay, so, yeah. So long as we don't disturb the fly, we'll be fine. But we are going to need a center of units out here to just fed this area. Occasionally, scouts will head out from the swarm frontier in search of live prey for the horde. If they find anything of significance, they will call for reinforcements. A battalion of soldiers can respond in seconds. Yeah, which is unfortunate. Bad, yo. So basically, yeah, just hold out until they get here, then redeploy our forces so we can push them back. The ants must oh, fight. For sake. That cricket. That cricket's bad. Oh damn, he... Hell, he countered me. Wasn't expecting that. Touche, cricket. Two Shay. Let's get the you guys up. So yeah, if we had enough we could, you know, press forward. Before night two. But yeah. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Just hide. Things are really being aggressive. The today. ants must fight. Problem is they're coming up this way, and I need to head up. I need to head over here. I need to make it. The army ants are extending their foraging activities. Space is running out. If I don't, we're screwed. Did I lose my... Ah, uh, we might be screwed in. No, 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 no. Shit. This is bad. They are pressing me back. Or... Harder, because I don't have enough... I couldn't build that one. Damn. That's not good. I can potentially win, I just ran into way too many of those soldiers, basically. They probably fight. What's it like that? Stop 
push them back. Fortunate for us, because we need to push them back. After taking significant losses in their efforts to subdue the Leafcutters, the Swarm Raiders have been pushed back. The Leafcutters must press on to keep them at bay. There we suffer some damage though. We need to pull back. Protect the first supply line. Okay. Man, I feel incompetent pushing forward and trying to claim them, stop them before night, before day two. I mean, I could potentially. Yeah. I would need a lot more food than I have going on. So I could, you know, get get the rest of the ammo. Well, at least a fifth one, anyway. But yeah, just saw milling about now. Whatever them numbers to get up higher. Actually, I should probably do this. Just cause. You know, being smart and all. As dusk sets in, the army and foraging activity begins to settle. The Aceton forces are reconvening to join a giant bivouac formed of their own bodies where they will wait out the night. For the Atters, this is the perfect opportunity to stockpile leaves. Not sure if I want to press forward with these or keep pressing forward with those last two and then press for it. I might just wait until we get those last two and then press for it. Cause we yeah, one more. Anyway. So fly over here. Fly over there. Hope we know fly over here. An enemy approaches. An enemy is <laughs> defeated. An enemy approaches. An enemy retreats. By the way, huzzah. Okay, now I might work on this. Yeah, maybe we can get up before, you know, day. Yeah, there's a shame you can't really hear where it is. They're just sort of, you know. So I my... No, that's for the Fornicario thing. No, I have one. So 
Maybe she only costs like, you know, less than 80. That is still a bit expensive, but oh well. The ants must fight. And no one to the mix. Oh no, he's trying to challenge me. Well, sucks to be. I get back here. Yeah, see, this is why we hold this line because a lot of things want to approach it. We're on a lot of food supply. I don't know, sometimes 15 from that plant, so. Fast forward. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not sure if I could do that by a day. But damn it, straight, I'm going probably. I'm going to try. Probably we should probably have at least over 100, maybe over 200 before day. Just. Just for replacing what's going to be lost doing this. But yeah, this challenge isn't too bad so long as you don't hang with the blocks. Yeah, I think I may want to, you know. I want to start heading down. Hmm. Now I'm going to be bold and add two more. We need to kill a path now. Head down and across. The jungle stirs. The sound of panicked arthropods running from danger can be heard throughout the leaf litter, and the ant birds are circling overhead. Damn the you. swarm has returned. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Just frickin' crickets, crickets, spiders, spiders, everything. Just stopping the humans. That's gonna cost me. Oh. As long as they go through here, I'll bang, bang and fly. Up and so it begins. And we immediately lost all my... Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate, because that's just a bunch of angry soldiers right there. Uh-huh. Oh, that's not funny. Oh shit. I guess we're just gonna have to push them back from him. Because we lost our entire front and well, of course. Because they stacked bumps. And pressed me out completely.
Seth going after that unit. Yeah. Set up. I don't like fighting in front of that thing either. The leaf cutters are causing problems for the army ants, and the swarm frontier is beginning to recede. Yes, press our advantage. Basically, what's such is their their initial thing is they send like that many soldiers, which is bad. You know, it's hard to take on you know all of those soldiers, especially damage stuff. So now we're just gonna press the vent. The leaf cutters have been spotted by a scout. If it escapes, it will call for reinforcements. Especially down here. Oh god. Cut off my reinforcements. Oh, cut off my reinforcements. An army ant scout has spotted the leaf cutters. It must not be allowed to report back to the swarm. Go again. Go again. Now we let get by. The army ant scout has been silenced. The leaf cutters can continue their work. Oh yeah, we're still at five. And we got some reinforcements coming through, hopefully. Not giant prey mantis this time. But yeah. The leaf cutters have been spotted by a troop of army ant scouts. Losing if any escape, they will call for reinforcements. Losing a lot of food. But hey, we got them pressed down. All we have to do is press the vent. Pressing the land. Hopefully. Or maybe they're just gonna retreat for the night and then we An enemy see. scouting party has alerted the swarm to the presence of the leaf cutters. I'm not sure we might win or we might might be too late in the day. Not sure. Yeah, I probably don't have the food very for a continued assault much longer. So, hey, we did Against know. impossible odds, the soldiers of the Atta stronghold met the tyrannical intruders with ferocious defiance time and time again. Unable to break their lines and after tremendous losses, the army ant swarm has finally elected to move on. For the leaf cutters, the ultimate trial is over. Not sure. <sighs> so here's the thing, as much as I want extra royal jelly, I'm going to need that food. Is it feeding time already? Yes, our queen is insatiable. Well, <laughs> cause yeah, we're going to definitely eat that. Okay, so what can I do with said jelly? I think we got most everything upgraded. Well, can take more than 20 damage to single attack. I mean, that's fair enough. Don't want Venom resist, or just physical resist. And more physical resist. So I can increase the range of Tranny. Movement speed resource. I think the Queen just has like cool town stuff.
Uh, resource hoppers. Fail. And that's whatever at this point. So, time to upgrade my. all of you. And you guys, too. And you guys, too, bro. Enough, I'm gonna remove this and just put a speed thing here. By putting that there, I can upgrade. Now I can upgrade that. Those. Which so means I can upgrade these. Which means I can upgrade this. Upgrade these ones though. Unfortunately. I'm trying to get upgrade that one. Unless I remove this wall. Put another one of those in. Hopefully. Might not help. But I'll try. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna help. Much. Might help with these though. Which might help with this, actually. Ah, convenient. So this episode may be a bit longer. Unfortunate that. Well, at least those are probably upgraded. The important things are probably upgraded. Which is good. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Why? Because that means we don't really have enough food for, well, a sustained assault. Two plants or the units. I should have thought that out better, because we need at least several hundred for that. Whoops. Probably should have thought that out. However, you know what? We'll get food if we win. If we win. So it's time for this. I'm afraid we've ran out of time. It doesn't matter if the nest isn't perfect. Run the experiment, then clear out the specimens and bleach the equipment. Yes, yes, I know. I'm doing it. And when you are finished here, I think we should have a word about your conduct around the laboratory. I think we should have a word about your conduct around the laboratory. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Starting the experiment. Good. Let me know when you have a result. So, yeah. Okay, my little ants. This is it. 
the winner will have the privilege of joining me for the ultimate test, the real final experiment. The loser will be relegated to the waste disposal. The four Macariums are connected. Let the war commence! about that placement, yo. I wonder which colony will strike first. So, of course, we want our attacks up front. Our soldiers behind. Our workers behind our soldiers. And then our artillery behind our Actually, since there's such a big line, Horteria, right about there. But in other words, it looks all chaotic, doesn't it? It looks like a chaotic mess. Oh, so I don't know why units are hitting back. I have no idea why units are hitting back and forth when I need them here. I think maybe they can't get to the position, so they're doing that, but, but still, it's very unfortunate. Maybe they're collecting food, but why are they collecting food? I don't know what they're doing. Either way, it's very disconcerting. But anyway, look at the enemy's numbers. Yeah. The Eruptors really finally meet! Interesting combinations. I wonder which is more effective. Part of is, they have enough for sustained assault. Our Raptors are beating back to counterparts. We don't Victory have enough Victory seems within assault. their grasp. But what's this? Could it be? The almighty hand of God! <laughs> yeah. Well, that caught me a few of those. Ha! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> well, he just killed off her. Oh, my. Well, we just lost because of that. Yeah, we just lost because of that. And I can't really do anything about that. Is that what my basically all my units? All my tanks are just gone now. And they just have an unleavened force coming out here. Yeah, we really sure are safe safe for food. As far as I can't really do anything about that right now because just bow food. And I'll just still look at that. Just a steady stream of death. Yeah, I think he's using, uh, well, those are army units, aren't they? Those ones are those, uh, Tuscans. Not sure those ones are. But yeah, look at this. this. Yeah. I mean, he, besides the fact he cheated and squished, you know, half of, over half of my leaf cutter. Oh, made dear. Uh, could our colony be in trouble? Yeah, our colony's screwed. Like, here's Be that. careful, my queen. I haven't finished with you oh, yet. Oh my god, I forgot about Royal Degree. <laughs> Royal Decree is OP. Oh, I need to save the Queen. Need to save the Queen. Freaking army.
further regrouping them for another attack. But look how many they're just regrouping on. With their hundreds of thousands. But yeah, Royal Decree saved my ass. The problem though is this asshole still just has hundreds of thousands practically. Oh well, at least he sent only a few units forward this time before sending all of them. So let's just hold the line. Hold. Here comes the rest. I mean, he still has more, but yeah. Ah, oh, Royal Decree might have been the only thing that really, might have been the only saving grace, though. Oh shit! Press forward, everyone. I think we exhausted his troops. We might Quickly, have my little reptiles! You wouldn't want to be caught by the finger of death. <laughs> Oh god, don't. And simply name call on we head for the queen. Yeah. <laughs> you <asshole. laughs> Of course I have no workers now to too. Excellent progress, my Ereptus. Strike at your nemesis. The there can be only one. Yeah, yes, yes, good, yes. <laughs> Oh no. Well, we might have lost. I was not prepared for the enemy to have more of a Two. Well, that's awkward. That's very awkward. <laughs> oh shit, that's... That's bad, yo. <laughs> oh, that's real bad. I forget if we're still on cooldown or not for ours. <laughs> Oh, that's stupid. Didn't realize they also had a royal decree. Now well, that's, I guess it's fail. It's like, oh no, we're gonna lose. Oh yeah, we have everything back. I see your hand now. Just waiting to smash my ass. Yeah. How much I could do about that, sadly. Did he just try? They were getting oh, food. Oh dear! Uh, could our colony be in trouble? They were getting food. Be careful, my like queen. Fly. I'm not finished with you yet. Nope. We get no reward. Useless ants. Hmm. Perhaps this. New colony will prove to be a superior research subject. And we lost. Because I didn't have enough food to supply my army. That's basically what cost me the entire thing. Uh, which basically means if we don't have enough food, I have to literally do another mission I don't want to do. It sucks. Ugh. Like, here's the thing, even if I do that on medium, again, it's not that much food. Well, I mean, it's a thousand. So, guess we're gonna go do this? I guess I could do it on easy and get a thousand. Let's do it again, everyone. Because we're not doing the over one on challenge. Because it's already hard enough. 
Yeah, this is gonna be a long video. Well, well, deal with it. This small leafcutter colony has established a foothold in a clearing near the base of a tree. Their location provides prime access to lucrative harvesting grounds which have gone unchallenged for the past few weeks. However, unbeknownst to the ants, the peace is about to be broken. A scourge is drawing in. It will be here by morning. To make matters worse, overground swarms of parasitic forage flies are beginning to hatch. Leafcutter innards provide perfect incubation chambers for the young of these insidious insects. Now they push back this time. So they, so that's a bit different. Huh. That is different. The ants must fight. What the hell now, I want you. Hey, I need you to come out. Hey, and provide guard duty. Leaf source of oh, well, I'm work kind of work. You know, Shit. Can you guys handle that? These rove beetle larvae pose a serious threat to the minim workers. And they will need to be exterminated quickly. I'm just gonna skip ahead until we're back at the, you know, phone carrier thing. So yeah, we'll be back. Okay, we're still on this mission. I might as well show you what my plan was. The dance alley execute as well as it should have last time. So, as you can see, we have our units all prepared. That should be ending soon. Now we just need to move everyone over. Found those. Yeah, around here. It's easy to get units to get straight. Like right here. This unit decided to get in the way. But yeah. Thing is, we don't want to attack the first group. Attacking the first group is bad, yo. Don't want to do that. Because the first group is just basically a line of soldiers and army ants with that whole attack button. It's pretty bad, yo. The jungle stirs. The sound of panicked arthropods running from danger can be heard throughout the leaf litter, and the ant birds are circling overhead. 
the swarm has returned. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to hold back just long enough to let them pass, okay? Don't know where you guys think you're going, but yeah. Because look at it, just like rows of those things. But hey, they passed. Which basically means now we move in. Because they're no longer a threat. They've left. Which basically means everything else is just free game. With 340 some resource. So let's see how we do. I can't really see because you know leaves. And I can't really ro can't rotate the camera, but you know. Stuff's going on. Pushing eastwards is proving to be inefficient for the swarm. They will fan out in other directions. So yeah, let's see how well they last this time. Well, they're not very really opposed to me, as much as they could be. Perhaps how worse the rest of the units. An army ant scouting party has spotted the leaf cutters. Eh, they must not on. be allowed to report back to the swarm. But yeah, such an easier mission compared to the resource race one. Against impossible odds, the soldiers of the Atta stronghold met the tyrannical intruders with ferocious defiance time and time again. Unable to break their lines and after tremendous losses, the army ant swarm has finally elected to move on. For the leafcutters, the ultimate trial is over. Probably wants to also go murder that, but yeah. So basically we want extra food. Cause yeah. Now then. <laughs> time for a rematch. Now that we have, you know, proper food. Is it feeding time already? Indeed. Yes. It is. Our queen is insatiable. It is indeed feeding time already. I uh, could power can make you guys better, can't I? More attack speed? Uh it's a bit expensive though, isn't it? The only thing that we really need is an upgrade. And you guys could use attack damage, I suppose. Just, that's barely any attack damage, oh well. Okay. So everyone's... But I guess food was dropped. Yeah, I was like, where's the food? I guess we already got it all. But we haven't gotten it all. You see? There's still all these little tiny things here that I can go pursue for food too. Two thousand some food. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I want to upgrade or not. I Me mean, it won't hurt. I could upgrade my workers, but that's pointless. Eh, you know what? Why not? As long as we don't drop under a thousand. Shit, we dropped under a thousand.
Yeah. Uh, I think I like my odds this time. Let's try this again. I'm afraid we've ran out of time. It doesn't matter if the nest isn't perfect. Run the experiment, then clear out the specimens and bleach the equipment. Yes, yes, I know. I'm doing it. And when you are finished here, I think we should have a word about your conduct around the laboratory. I think we should have a word about your conduct around the laboratory. What was that? Nothing, nothing. It's starting the experiment. Good. Let me know when you have a result. Uh, okay, my little ants. This is it. The winner will have the privilege of joining me for the ultimate test. The real final experiment. The loser will be relegated to the waste disposal. The four Macariums are connected. Let the war commence! He's so excited about this too, isn't he? I wonder which colony will strike first. Don't know why they're doing that still. Okay, my 140. Well, skipping those seven. for me, is it? Where are you going? And thus it begins. Again. The Eruptors finally meet. Interesting combinations. Why are you sure? I wonder which is more effective. That's better. Pew, pew, pew. Well, we're right down to, uh, over a hundred. Our Eruptors are beating back the counterparts. Victory seems within their grasp. But what's this? Could it be the almighty hand of God? Please don't poke my attack. <laughs> Sorry, I not poke my attack. Ha! You're poking my artillery. I don't like that even though. This dick waffle, I swear. Oh, no, here comes the one. All oh, those. That's bad, yo. All oh, those are bad, because that's. Yeah, all that attack damage. Stack. That's not good for me. Oh jeez, we're already wasting that much food. Ugh. I just have an endless stream coming in too. Yeah, I don't think I can win. I'm just... I'm already out of food, man. I mean, hell. I mean, if I could press through the tank, well, not the tank, if I could press through the army tank, maybe we might stand a chance. But that's only a if. I mean, I've stuck. It's a pain. Alright, food. Running low on. Well, they've run out of units. 
Quickly, my little raptors. You wouldn't want to be caught by the finger of death. Jeez, that killed half my... You asshole. Excellent progress, my well, erectus. Strike at your nemesis. There can be yeah, only one. Yeah, we have no food. Oh, what the queen does. But hell, you remember what our queen does? The same as that thing. It's basically, it's gonna be, uh, if we lose this. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And the guys stop attacking the queen, that's the problem. Everyone stop attacking the queen. Instead of, you know, attacking. Like, I need you to attack the queen. Stop worrying about the guards, attack the queen. Do you want to attack the queen? Attack the queen? Keep focusing. Get her! Get her, yes! There we go. Ah, <laughs> perfect! I knew my raptors would prevail. Now we can prepare for the real. Have you finished yet? Uh, yes, uh, our raptors have dominated the Phobacarium. Wonderful. I expect a full report by the end of the week. For now, you can start by clearing away. Make sure anything contaminated with that jelly goes straight to the incinerator. Yes, yes, very good. So, that jelly, by the way. I'm not entirely sure why I want now. I mean, I guess I could use more jelly. But here's the thing. Ah, jelly to the incinerator. The jelly is for my ants, and no one is going to take it away from you. So technically we're done now. Until the fire ant update, which is sometime maybe, I don't know. But yeah, basically we, yeah, there's not much else for us to, well, do in our base, anyway. I guess it's time for upgrades once we get, you know, all that food stuff. Oh, jeez. Look how many units we have to replace, though. <coughs> <coughs> but we survived a royal guard and all those units being brought back. Oh, that's a thing. But yeah, we can now just summon things. Like army ants, the host ants, those. But yay, once everything gets respawned. Yeah, we can start just collecting actual food. But anyway, what to do with our upper stuff? Resources is whatever at this point. I can see it being useful later on, but yeah. Like you. You could be more useful with more damage. But I think the most beneficial one to uh, upgrade would be you. That's a creature health attack. That's a creature attack. Oh, I don't have enough jelly for that. Ah oh, well. Let's upgrade you. Creature attack. Ah, oh, damn. Damn. Oh well. Then that's about the best we get. I mean, upgrading the queen is a thing we could potentially do. I mean. Thing is, it's yeah. Health cooldown. Oh. 
Uh, random upgrade things again, apparently. Anyway, we're pouring food again. So it's time to upgrade stuff. Because we're basically done now. Huzzah. Well, until fire ants. And then, I don't know how many have space for fire ants somewhere. Unless they change my freaking former carrier again. Which, you know, they probably will. Some food left over. Noise, but my food stores are full again. I <laughs> can't use it fast enough. Probably want to add another section of uh, those, but they'll fine as they are. I could probably make the food store even larger, you know. I'm not quite sure why we really want to do now, it's just... I think I might as well get, you know, our upgrades done now. Fan food storage. I mean, the power cover is pretty much, yeah. Done until, you know. You guys go somewhere, because there's no food out there, so they're all just gonna mail about and come back in and clock up my tunnels. I can make that better if I do one thing here. get better though. Ah well. They were just chilling about, doing their thing. And yeah, if we could turn off that info. We could turn off But I was gonna say I could turn off that but everything's up 
Much upgrade as is, isn't it? Oh no, isn't that one so short? Anyway. So yeah. So we're left with yeah, 2,000 some food, 167 territory that I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with, and two royal jerrys. Cause, yeah. I guess we could technically do that over again, I, apparently. I really want to, which I don't really want to do over again. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be back maybe sometime after the fire ants are released, if they're released. But yeah, till then, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all, and that. And I'm surprised we actually were able to complete this. Because, yeah, I did do this before. Maybe not as effective as this time, but I did do this before. I made it up to that whole resource race one. The... Up to that one. The harvest. And I failed a lot because, yeah. I didn't realize the whole, you could just, you know, completely stop them if you... But hell, it didn't even work last time we did it. it would, we still had to, you know, cut them off constantly. But yeah, it's... Difficult, because... They're just constantly, you know, ahead of you until you get enough majors that you could just... Okay, stop you hell. Stop you hell. Stop you hell. <laughs> so you can completely stop them. But yeah, that level sucked the first time. Because I was trying to actually beat them in resource collecting. But yeah, it's all about basically cutting them off from their resources. Because trying to actually legit beat them with numbers of workers and stuff collecting? Yeah, no. It's all about getting major stuff as fast as possible. But yeah, that second level, just with army ants, it's like, yeah, okay. Just get a few majors up and go cut off the, the line and it's done. But anyway, so, yeah, next time. We're fire ants, hopefully. Hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day. Well, you know, actually, if we really want to, there's free play. There's also, you know, extra levels like that. Tug of war. Other stuff. Ooh, promote Crick as an option enemy for free play. Ah, cool. Rewards. An alternative for that. Oh, you take control of the counterpart colony. So you'd be using their units. Yeah, you'd be using slave makers, draft drawers, and army ants. Huh. Interesting. I mean, some of this stuff sounds fun, but, you know. If this here's an auto battler.
I was going to say, what is that do I do? Oh, I could be out tonight. That was an out of battle. The ants must fight. Yeah, you can see this being fun. Fun for a bit. But yeah. Anyway. <laughs> 